In the last lecture, I explained two types of delays. The first one was group delay and the second one was phase delay. Now in this presentation, we will solve two problems which you can see on your screen. And in both the problems, we are required to calculate the group delay and the phase delay. And you are expected to know the formulas of group delay and the phase delay. And if you don't know the formula, I will first write down the formula of group delay and phase delay. Group delay is represented by T sub G and it is equal to, it is equal to negative of first derivative of phase of transfer function with respect to omega and the phase delay represented by T sub P is equal to negative of phase of transfer function divided by angular frequency omega. So these are the two formulas. And in first problem, there is no need of formula because delays are already given in the output and you only need to identify the group delay and the phase delay. In the second problem, we need the formulas. So let's start the solution of the first problem. In the first problem, there is a system. Input is xt, output is yt. Input xt is equal to mt cos 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6t and output is equal to mt minus 0.4 cos 2 pi into 10 raised to power 60 minus 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3. And if you remember the last lecture, I told you this mt here is the envelope. It is the envelope or group of frequencies and the delay provided to this envelope by the system is known as the group delay. So if you see the output, you will find mt is now mt minus 0.4 so this 0.4 is the delay and as it is the delay in the mt which is the envelope we will call it group delay so simply the group delay tg is equal to 0.4 seconds this is our answer now we will focus on the high frequency carrier part of the input the input xt is having the two different parts. The first part is the envelope and the second part is cos 2 pi into 10 raised to power 60 and this part is known as high frequency carrier, high frequency carrier or single frequency signal and in the last lecture we saw the high frequency carrier was cos omega ct. Now if you compare this with this you will find omega c is equal to 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6. So we know omega c and in output if you see the high frequency carrier you will find it is cos 2 pi into 10 raised to power 60 minus 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3. So from here you cannot obtain the phase delay directly. You cannot say phase delay is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3. Because if you consider the delay in high frequency carrier on the output side, then it will be cos omega c. This t here will become t minus t sub p, where t sub p is the phase delay. And now we will open this bracket. We will have cos omega c t minus omega c t p. So omega ct is equal to 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6 t and we have already obtained value of omega c from the input side. It is equal to 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6. Now omega ctp is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3. Omega ctp is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3. We know omega c is equal to 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6. So we can easily calculate the phase delay Tp. We will divide both the sides by 2 pi into 10 raised to power 6. It will give us phase delay Tp equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 seconds. Or we can write 2 milliseconds. So we have the group delay, it is equal to 0 0.4 seconds. And we also have the phase delay, it is equal to 2 milliseconds. And you can see the difference between the group delay and the phase delay. The group delay is much larger as compared to the phase delay. So this is all for problem number one. Now we will move to problem number two. Here you can see 
RC low pass filter we have RC low pass filter circuit and first we will obtain the transfer function using the Laplace transform and from there we will obtain the frequency response h omega by converting the Laplace transform to Fourier transform and there is one simple way to get the Fourier transform using the Laplace transform you only have to replace s by j omega so first we will obtain the transfer function using the Laplace transform the Laplace transform of VIT which is the input voltage is V I S the Laplace transform of resistance R will be R only the Laplace transform of capacitance C will become 1 over S C and the Laplace transform for the output voltage is V O S and now I will use the voltage divider rule to get V O S it will be equal to the resistance or the reactance across which you are calculating the voltage we are calculating the output voltage across the capacitor so we will have 1 over SC in the numerator and in the denominator we will have R plus 1 over SC R plus 1 over SC and then we will multiply this with the input voltage VIS I will simplify this and I will get 1 over 1 plus SCR multiplied to VIS and on the left hand side we will have the output voltage VOS and we know the transfer function HS will be equal to the Laplace transform of output over the Laplace transform of input so we will divide both the sides by VIS and it will give us the transfer function HS equal to VOS over VIS which is equal to 1 over 1 plus SCR this is what we have and to have H of Omega to have H of Omega we will replace this S by J Omega so we will have 1 over 1 plus J Omega CR so we have the transfer function and now we will obtain the phase of the transfer function the phase of the transfer function is equal to 1 over 10 inverse 10 inverse omega rc or we can write minus 10 inverse omega rc we needed phase of h omega to calculate the group delay and the phase delay you can see phase of h omega in the formula of the group delay and phase of h omega in the formula of the phase delay first we will try to calculate the phase delay tp it is equal to negative of phase of h omega which is minus 10 inverse omega rc so minus 10 inverse omega rc divided by omega and in this problem the frequency is given I have not written the frequency but frequency is also given in this problem it is equal to 2 kilo hertz so we know the frequency and let's say this frequency is f1 so we will calculate the corresponding angular frequency omega 1 omega 1 will be equal to 2 pi f1 or we can say 2 pi into 2 multiplied to 10 raised to power 3 which is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3 so we know omega 1 in this formula we need to replace this omega by omega 1 which is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3 so we know omega 1 here we also put omega 1 we know r it is equal to 1 kilo ohm we know c it is equal to 1 microfarad so we have everything to calculate the phase delay so this is homework for you the calculation part is the homework for you now we will move to the next delay which is the group delay it is equal to negative of first derivative of phase of transfer function with respect to omega so we have negative of the derivative of tan inverse function is important to calculate the group delay so the derivative of tan inverse function is 1 over 1 plus x square if you are finding the first derivative 
the first derivative of 10 inverse x then it is equal to 1 over 1 plus x square in this case x is equal to omega rc and we already have this negative sign so here this negative and negative will become positive so I will directly write the differentiation of tan inverse omega rc it is equal to 1 over 1 plus omega rc whole square multiplied to rc because omega rc is also the function of omega and the derivative of omega rc is equal to rc so this is what you have to understand this your differentiation concepts should be clear from here we will get rc divided by 1 plus omega square r square c square now to calculate the group delay we will put omega equal to omega 1 which is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power 3 we know the resistance value we know the capacitance value here we know the omega value resistance value and capacitance value so you can easily calculate the group delay and once you have your answer comment below I want you to perform the calculation of phase delay from here and the group delay the group delay T sub G from here and once you have the correct values of phase delay and group delay post your answers in the comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one